pretty amazing that uh, media are starting to question whether or not Joe Biden is fit for office. Hmm. Even the hardcore mainstream media, uh, the hacks who love him and would do anything to protect him, even they are starting to say, wait a minute, I know, maybe he can't do another term. Maybe he should be turning this over to somebody else. Uh, got this article from the Western Journal. So is this a sign that CNN is abandoning far leftism? Or is this a sign that the far left is abandoning President Joe Biden? I believe it's the latter. It's almost assuredly the latter, according to this article, and that should be setting off all manner of alarms on Team Biden. Look, it's no secret that the incumbent president is deeply unpopular and has been for a while. Despite that, for much of his presidency, (laughs) there's been a vocal and loud sect of the establishment still raw-rawing for Biden turning a blind eye to many of the president's glaring faults, the most progressive of Democrats and their establishment media shills. CNN, which is very much establishment and very much chock full of shills, started off in total lockstep. But cracks began to emerge. At the tail end of 2021, not even a full year into Biden's presidency, CNN talking heads began openly opining about potential replacements for the unpopular and elderly Biden. Now, when dealing with a historically unpopular president who would be historically old at the start of a second term, it only makes total sense to begin thinking about filling out that bench behind him. A charitable interpretation of the network's 2021 critique of Biden could be that it was little more than due diligence as CNN continues to carry water for Democrats. Of course, you want to talk about viable candidates who could be next in line. What's not nearly as explicable was a viral segment CNN ran on Thursday where the network wasn't so much trying to fill out a bench behind Biden so much as engaging in the old-timey prank of pulling out the chair from underneath the octogenarian. (laughs) I like that line. Yeah. (laughs) Then they offer the clip, uh, and then they talk about all manner of pundits seized on the video and ran with it. But can you blame them? This is CNN, for crying out loud, a network that bleeds blue for Democrats and all leftist causes. This is a network that could gloss over raging infernos as mostly peaceful (laughs) protesting, but suddenly couldn't deal with Biden's own warped take on reality. To be clear, Biden absolutely deserves to be called out for lying, they use the word fibbing, Uh as often as he does. And it is often in parentheses. But it's also more than fair to ask why exactly CNN is jumping on this bandwagon and why they're jumping on it now. With just over a year to go until the 2024 general election, it seems CNN might have received its marching orders from their leftist overlords, whomever that might be, that it's time to install a new puppet, er, POTUS, (laughs) <laughs> at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Why? Because for as much of a useful idiot that Biden has been for the left, he still needs to, you know, win a general election to continue to serve as that useful idiot. And there's now mounting evidence that Biden will not cakewalk into a second term. And that's plenty cause for consternation if you're on the left. Pretty good explanation for why CNN is uh is getting off of the Joe Biden bandwagon. They they love him, but they're starting to realize at 39% approval, he can't win. And he's showing signs of disintegration every single day, so they need a leftist in there who can beat Donald Trump or whoever the Republican nominee is. Uh and so they bring up California Governor Newsom or former First Lady Michelle Obama. Oh. Yeah, it's Big Mike. Uh, she, <laughs> Big Mike 24. She is a frightening possibility because of her approval rating. I mean, nobody can understand it, but it's there. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, she has continually said she's not interested in running for president or any office for that matter. But would that change now? I wonder. I wonder. And is it Barack Obama behind the scenes that's oh. pulling all the strings? He's behind the telling scenes him what of to do. Biden. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Obama is living out his fantasy <clears throat> behind the scenes of Biden, doing what he wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. Under the cover of people thinking it's not him. He can still act like a moderate. <laughs> amazing. Just so amazing. So how do you think, uh, I, I always ask for a temperature check every now and then from you. Mm-hmm. Who are your, uh, who do you anticipate will be the final two for the Republican Party and Democrat Party with all of this insanity on the left with Biden? Mm-hmm. Is he too old? Is he going to drop out? Health concern, Big Mike, Newsom. And then on the right, is Trump going to be behind bars or off the ballot in certain states? I, I don't have an answer to who the final two are going to be. I just know it's going to yeah. be unprecedented chaos Yeah, like we've never experienced in this nation. It very well could be. I mean, if you have Biden completely disintegrating in front of our eyes, and he is, and he is, and you've got the Trump situation now with state charges that can't just be dismissed by a sitting president, what is going to happen if he's just kept off the ballot in a bunch of states? Mm. They're already making that push. So it's going to be ugly if that happens. If Donald Trump is not on the ballot in certain states, if he's the nominee, uh, 